Ask children what they want to become. Chances are they'll say pilot. Aviation. It's one of humankind's truly great achievements. Connecting people and shipping goods around the world on an unprecedented scale. However, it also contributes significantly to CO2 emissions. If we want to reach the sustainability goals of the Paris Agreement, aviation will need to drastically reduce its CO2 emissions. For short distance flights, the solutions could be flying electrically combined with hydrogen and fuel cells. These are long-term solutions, however, and are a long way from being available for long distance flights. In the coming decades, one substantial way of achieving the necessary CO2 reduction in aviation is to use sustainable aviation fuel, or in short, SAF. SAF is the descriptive name for various aviation fuels that reduce CO2 emissions relative to fossil-based kerosene and which can be used in place of fossil-based kerosene to power commercial aeroplanes. To be used in aeroplanes, SAFs must be certified for safety, performance and sustainability. Well-known SAFs are bio-based fuels obtained from sustainable resources like waste oils, and they can even be produced from woody biomass, renewable waste and residual waste sources. Another kind of SAF that is receiving increasing attention is synthetic kerosene, an example of an e-fuel. It is made from hydrogen generated by using green electricity and water and from carbon dioxide captured from refineries or simply from the air. There are multiple ways of producing synthetic kerosene, we will show you one of them. An electrolyzer splits water into hydrogen and oxygen. The hydrogen can be combined with the carbon dioxide at high temperature to form syngas, a gas mixture consisting of H2 and CO. A catalyst then stitches the molecules in the synthesis gas together to create long strands of hydrocarbons. Finally, these strands are cut up using a molecular scissor. The result is a liquid component synthetic kerosene. At the moment, it is possible to blend this with fossil-based kerosene for up to 50% of the total volume of an aeroplane's fuel load. In the future, however, an aeroplane will probably be able to fly solely on synthetic kerosene. The methods and processes used to produce synthetic kerosene are not new and are used for several other products. The real challenge lies in turning this from something that is technically possible to something that is economically viable. We can do this by reducing the costs through innovation, scaling up the production and optimising the availability of the resources used in this process. Since this requires a joint effort from a diverse group of technology development companies within the production chain, we can only do this by working together. This way, the costs of producing synthetic kerosene will decrease, stimulating a shift from fossil fuels to SAF. Synthetic kerosene is not a silver bullet, but in combination with other SAF production pathways, it will make aviation more sustainable. And even better, SAF brings new economic opportunities for sustainable energy producers, for new jobs, and for the Netherlands as an international hub for SAFs. This way, sustainability can go hand in hand with recovery for a hard hit sector. Building trust amongst citizens that aviation is working to become future proof for this generation and generations to come. So, when we ask our future children and grandchildren what they want to become, they will be proud to answer pilot. We need all parties to make this a reality, starting now. Let's discuss today the steps we need to take to make this happen.